We just finished our ride across the Camino del Diablo. And as it turns out, it was about 160 miles with no services whatsoever. So this is a place called Quito Baquito, and it's in the Oregon Pipes National Monument. You have to ride on dirt roads to get down to this section of the border. Right here behind me, it's the U.S. border, very close to a Mexican highway. You can see the cars and trucks going in the background, and the fence here is really not much of a fence at all. It could keep animals out and vehicles, but a person could very easily get off the highway and go right through the border here and slip into the Oregon Pipes National Monument. From there, it's a much more perilous natural journey because of the the desert condition uh, for someone that was gonna be trying to walk through this region. I know it is pretty dangerous out here too though, right? You know, we've- We we're, just we're apprehended a guy like not even a mile from here on the south side of the border with an AK-47. Like, no kidding. Not even a week ago. Yeah. So it, it does exist, just so you guys are aware. Yeah. Of it and they do post signs you know yeah. that you yeah. guys know like how's this area in particular in general compared to like the other areas we've been traveling through oh uh, it's pretty much all the same and is it more immigrant people or drug smugglers that that you guys are, you are... recording me right now yes is that uh, all right no it's not okay I'd prefer not to okay uh, if, you, if you guys want a, any info like that you're gonna have to talk, talk to your you're base have to call sector sure okay okay, okay. no problem all okay right. you guys thanks keep up one. the good work okay. all right thanks thanks well, yet again, more insight from our Border Patrol service. We were just told that we're not allowed to continue on the road that we wanted to continue next to the border. That area is closed. So we're gonna go back out the way that we came in and continue on this journey. My motorcycle is almost out of gas. We're in Ajo, we have our hotel for the evening, and there's a very special event going on tonight. Yeah, We've been okay. riding since San Diego down the border, and just thought this would be a good thing to, to experience. In 1980, there was a group of 26 that crossed over from Sonoida that were from Nicaragua, and that's when the Civil oh, War was going yeah. on. Yeah. And they came over and they were told by their coyotes Oops. that they were gonna be picked up within five minutes. Yes. And 13 of them, women and children died. And the town of Ajo, many people in Ajo did house these people yeah, they and, and help out, so. So how does everybody feel about the border wall then here? You know, I, I mean, we can't speak for everybody. No, we can't. But no. I, I mean, if you want to, politically, it's pretty divided half and half here. Yeah. This town has a huge Hispanic population. Yeah. And let's say 30 years ago, there was no wall or anything. And they could drive back and forth to see their families. They yeah. could do all of that. And so this entire area was mm -hmm. Mexico. Right. right. And the border just crossed over all these folks. And actually, I was recently reading, I mean, we, as a country, even at that time, said the people here are now U.S. citizens and they may keep their culture and their language mm -hmm. at yeah. that time. And right. now we're not acting like, you know. No, and I hate yeah. that. I mean, yeah. the culture thing, yeah. come on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, <clears throat> welcome to our first vigil of 2019. Every month we gather in our plaza to honor those who have died in our desert to ensure they are not forgotten. Since records started in 2001, the remains of 3,011 people have been found in Arizona's desert. Of those, 523 died here in our local Ajo area. A young girl named Juana Hernandez, and she was 11 years old when she wrote this poem. It's called The Heart of a Refugee. The refugees, they leave the ones they love searching for a better future. The refugees, they leave their countries to start a new life. The refugees, they walk through the desert with no water. Many die of thirst, hunger for the freedom that they never find. 
the refugees. Their feelings are buried in the desert. Their dreams die with them. I will always have the heart of a refugee. She says, those who have disappeared somewhere in the desert borderlands have left craters in the hearts of their families, abysses that threaten to swallow up nearby souls. The silence of the missing themselves is mimicked by the silence on the topic of disappearances of migrants on the U.S. side of the border with Mexico. If one seldom hears about the deaths on the border, one never hears about the missing. Do not 